Yeah, that's right. Well, good day, everybody. This is Shannon with Alabama's 13 here again with another edition of Tech Talk. And today we are looking at a new device from LG called the Intuition uh, for our Verizon. I don't know if you can see the name. There it is. Intuition by LG. Comes in this swanky, nice black box here. Um, and the Intuition is one of those phones that is unique, let's say. Uh, it's uh, It's got a five inch screen. It's kind of one of these hybrid phones slash tablet phones. And, um, and it, being for Verizon, you know, it's a 4G LTE phone, which is very fast. And, um, but it's, it's, it's kind of a unique, it's got a, a little stylus to use and uh, it's got some certain different things that you can look at. So let's uh, get right into the review right now, shall we? So here we are, the LG Intuition for Verizon. And uh, yeah, it's a fairly, it's a big phone. Here we are. And just to compare, here's the LG Tuition. Here's an iPhone 4. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it's bigger. Uh, the screen is a 5-inch screen, so pretty large. So let's look at the physical last attributes of this phone, uh, hybrid phone. Uh, the left side, nothing on the side here. At the bottom, you have a microphone port. Uh, this side, you have rock, rocker buttons for volume. And on the top, you have a power button right here. You have a little sliding door to put your USB cable connector there. And you have a button here which gives you quick access to a note function, notepad function. And on this side you have a 3.5 inch headphone jack. Sorry about the focus there. But anyway, here we are. Uh, let's go through the specs on the LG Intuition. Um, it is running, it has a 5 point a 5.0 inch uh, IPS LCD touchscreen. Uh, resolution on this is 768 by 1024. It's running a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU. It has uh, 4G LTE capable. It's one, an 8.0 megapixel camera on the back here with an LED flash and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera right here here. Um, running Android 4.0, ice cream sandwich. Uh, it does record 1080p HD video. Uh, comes 32 gigabytes internal storage and weighs about six, a little less, very little less than 6.0 ounces. So it's a fairly hefty phone, I should say. Um, What's neat about this, you get the phone and all the uh, accessories, cables and stuff, and you get this little guy here, this little pin. And this is able, you can, you're able to use this to write on the notepad like that. Oh, I can't even spell Tech Talk. There it is. And I'll say hi to my friend, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. So uh, pretty neat. I like this really, this little, little pin here is really nice. Um, feels good in the hand, it's built well, and there's great uh, response on the screen. So, pretty nice. Uh, but uh, overall, I think the pros on this uh, hybrid smartphone is a great display, good overall performance, um, and it, it does catch the eye. It's like someone looks at that, it's like, wow, that's unique. Uh, but on the con side, no slot for this little pin guy here. There's no place to put this guy on the phone in the phone. Nowhere to place it, so there's a chance you might lose it. Uh, also, um, not really practical for watching videos because it's a 4 by 3 inch uh, screen. Can't turn on the side and uh, watch 16 by 9. Just, uh, it's just not made for it. Battery life on this has been very poor in my opinion. Um, you know, it won't last long. I mean, it's a 4G phone, so it'll be using a lot, but uh, I find myself charging this puppy a lot. Um, and the video and video, the video and photo quality, yeah, it's okay. Could be a little left, left as desired, but so overall, um, if you're looking into a hybrid smartphone, um, hey, you can't go wrong with 4G speed on this phone. It does surf the internet very well. Uh, in fact, uh, when you look at uh, websites with this smartphone, it is uh, among the best viewing of a, of a, uh, a smartphone of. Um, any kind of website that you might want to do. 
it's almost just looking at a desktop so I do have to say that so anyway um, that's the review for the uh, the phone so far and um, yeah uh, I seem to like it pretty much um, and uh, if you're into a hybrid smartphone market uh, you may want to consider this one the LG intuition for Verizon well hope you enjoyed the review um, again you could always reach me on Twitter it's Shannon ALA 13 and um, also you can see the reports on the webs on the internet on the Alabama's 13.com website and also we have a YouTube channel for Alabama's 13 you can look that up uh, you put in either Alabama's 13 or look for Tech Talk and you'll find it there so anyway thank you for watching us today and uh, we'll have another review of another cool device coming up soon so stay tuned for that till then this is Shannon have a great day everybody yeah that's right <laughs>